Good evening, everybody. From the gymnasium on the campus of Bartlett High School, welcome to Bartlett High Basketball for the 2019-2020 high school basketball season. Tonight, it's the 2020 Central Mass Division III Boys Basketball Tournament as the Bartlett High Indians host the Greater Lowell Tech Griffins of Kingsbury. Ted Avalos with you directly at courtside and ready to bring you all a terrific play-by-play -play of tonight's game between the Indians and the Griffins. Joining me in the booth as usual is Coach Ed Kunko. And Coach, for our Indians, number two seed in Central Mass Division Three, they got a bye in the first round. They were to play the winner of Greater Lowell Tech and Auburn, and Greater Lowell came through with a convincing 16-point victory. This is going to be a great quarterfinal match between these two teams and a very tough match for the Indians here at home. Yes, that it should be a, a real interesting game. It's going to be a physical game. And looking at this team before and looking at the scouting reports, the Griffins, and you're going to have to tell me later what a Griffin is, <laughs> okay? I heard it's Greek mythology, but uh, that being said, they're a big team. They're very, very tall, very strong, and they're athletic. They had no problems pushing aside Auburn, as you mentioned, 67-51. But they enter the season at 13-8. and eight. They have lost eight games. And even though Auburn uh, got dusted by 16, they still had the opportunity to get fi over 50 points against the Griffin. And we uh, took care of Auburn, as you know, uh, during the season. Our Indians, 18-3. The last game, they got beaten in the semifinal game at the clock by Groton Dunstable, 59-48. And I've got to tell you something, that was the worst shooting night the Indians have had all season long. And one of your stats, I mentioned that at halftime, was shooting 22% uh, from the floor. Our scorers didn't score. Grant Mason had a good game. Bush had a decent game. But everybody else a very low caliber. I think the key tonight is getting confidence early in this game. Uh, shooters have to shoot. Can't worry about yesterday. you got to think about today. Executing the shot. Don't tighten up on the shot. Get out there. When you're open, you got to fire it. I know Coach Peranto in the clock told him we got upset with his team because we had some open looks. What we weren't taking we weren't taking the shots. We're overpassing, didn't take advantage when we had to, and didn't go to the hole very well. Again, if we're gonna be in this one, we have to shoot it well, and that will afford us the opportunity to play that zone press that's been so successful. When you come into the Bartlett House, you're gonna expect a tough game, and you're gonna get a tough game from the Indians. They have to be up. They have to bring the A-plus game tonight against a very, very good Greater Lowell Blackhawks. Check that Griffins team. Should be interesting. We're just a few minutes away from the uh, opening tap-off of tonight's game. Gives us an opportunity before we start to help thank our sponsors who help support Bartlett High Basketball on our Community Access Channel and online at the Bartlett High website where you can catch all the games through their Bartlett High YouTube channel. And our sponsors for tonight's game include Park and Shop Supermarket, Airport Road in Dudley, serving the Webster Dudley communities since 1918. By Place Motors on 19 Thompson Road in Webster, Massachusetts' oldest family owned Ford dealer since 1923. By Nipmuc Liquors, Thompson Road in Webster, supporting youth activities in our community. By the Mafre Insurance Company, committed to providing high quality products and services with exceptional customer experiences. 
by the Webster Fishing Game and Golf Discourse. Gore Road in Webster. Check out the fish after a big Bartlett win. By the Patterson and Starzik families. Good luck to the Indians from four generations of Bartlett High grads. By the Webster Five Cent Savings Bank with branch offices in Webster Dudley, Oxford and Auburn, Worcester and Shrewsbury. By Peach Tire and Oil on South Main Street in Webster. For express oil changes and great tire sales, nobody beats Pete's. By Bank Hometown. From one hometown team to another, good luck to the Indians for a big win. And by the Polish American Veterans Club on Ray Street in Webster. Good luck to the Indians from your friends at the PAV. Thanks again to all our sponsors. All their contributions help support Bartlett's athletic program. We mentioned that the teams have a brief history here. That semifinal game back in 20, the 2017 season, I guess it happened in 2018, where they met at WPI. The Indians at that time were the number one seed. And I should check that. They actually played Greater Lowell in the finals that year. They beat Tingsboro okay. in the semifinals. 43-41, yeah. a last second shot by Tyler Davern. And then they played Greater Lowell, which everybody anticipated was going to be an extremely tough game. They beat Lowell 96-66 to in the finals to capture the Central Mass Division III championship. It was a heck of a game, and it was almost a game after the game between the two coaches. Uh, Coach uh, Joe Kane had some not kind words for Coach Peronto. And Coach, and he mentioned something about running it up. It's just a matter of executing on the bottle at Indian side. But the response to Coach was, you ran it up against Prouty by 40 points. Would you expect it tonight? Same thing against Bartlett. So there's no there's no love loss there. So we should have an excellent game tonight. That's the game between the games. Yep. All right. Right now, both teams have been summoned to the sidelines, going through the pre-game instructions from the PA announcer, Greg Linsky. Nice crowd here tonight for a Friday night quarterfinal. The winner of this game will go on to the semifinals, which are going to be at WPI. And then from there, the final game. Thank you for your cooperation. Now for our starting Which okay. is also at WPI. Let's do the sideline. All right, okay. For the Griffins, the visiting team. Tyler Bussey is the guard. Where's number four? At guard, senior, number five, Jose Lazo. Jose Lazo gets a shot tonight. He's a senior, plays guard. Where's number five? At forward, sophomore, number 40, Nestle Zaneville. At forward, Nestle Zaneville. He's a sophomore. At forward, junior, number 13, Jacob Burke. Jacob Burke, number 13. He is a forward. And at center, junior, number 15, Karen Christensen. And Karen Christensen, number 50. He's the center. Julio Petrana, Chris Sandell, and Mark White. And now for your Bartlett High School now, Indians. For your Bartlett Indians, starting at guard, sophomore number 13, Colin Manaric. Colin Manaric gets a start at guard tonight, wearing number 13. At guard, 5'10", junior captain, number 2, Brandon Boucher. Brandon Boucher plays the other guard. Brandon Plitt wears number 2, senior co-captain. 
Next guard, 5'10", senior captain, number one, Wilson Abar. At the other guard position, we're playing three guards tonight. Wilson Abar, Wilson wears number one. Step forward, 6'2", junior, number 34, Dylan Gray Mason. Dylan Grand Mason gets a start at the center position, center forward position. Dylan wears number 34. Step forward, six foot senior captain, number 12, Logan Carrasco. And rounding out tonight's lineup for the Bartlett Indians is number 12, senior co captain Logan Paranto. There you have the starting lines for both teams. And right now we're going to be asked to pause and rise for the playing of our national anthem. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of the men and women who have served our, who are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. We thank you for your service to our country. We now invite all to stand for our national anthem, being sung by Abby Shaw, daughter of Webster Police Chief Mike Shaw. Oh. Outstanding, outstanding. Great job. Yep. I didn't catch your first name, I apologize. But that's uh, Police Chief Shaw's daughter who sang the national anthem here tonight. Yep. All right, the Griffins and the Indians. Central Mass Division Three. Boys. District Championship, Ted Avila, Ted Kunkel, Nico on the camera, the eight teams in the house for what should prove to be a very entertaining basketball game. As Ed mentioned, they have a very brief history. They played once before, and it was intense to say the least. It certainly was. First thing you notice, we have three officials in the district tournaments, as we did in the Clark, to keep it under control. That's Burke jumping, and Christensen gets the tap, but Griffin's control. Five is Lazo. This is Bus. Lazo deep. Oh, the put back rebound by Christensen. Again. Oh, the corner, another three, short. Scramble. Griffin's, again, three rebounds. Deep three is in and out. Crash well, got to watch him mark. And the Indians come away with it. Head of the pack. Logan pushes it back out. Manaric. Hey, Ba. Back to Collin. Playing the big guy, the playing man to man. Grand Mason. One shot and out. Lazu pushes it up court. That's going to be a little walk. He did a little jitterbug before he put it on the floor. Bush up with the basketball, calling in the corner, on the side rather. 
Underneath, nice pass to Aba who lays it in. Nice score, nice give and go, way to go. Nice finish by Wilson. Indians with the first bucket of the game. Right back, Lazo. Hit the long jump shot. Sandville, no good. Push on, it, on the fly. Uh, the pack, Manaric. And they're going to call him for a walk. Minute and a half into the game, it's 2-0 Bartlett. Full court pressure. And it's taken away, Abar. Logan, alone. Stops and pops, around and out. Burke, with it. Driving to the hole. Bussy. Gonna grab it, and Logan gets his hands on it. Pushing it up to Monaric. He's got a look. He'll take that. Yes. a boy. Nice shot by Colin. Four nothing Indians. Six minutes to go for his quarter. Full court pressure. And Ava. Deflected out of bounds. Off great a low. Boucher. Oh, to Logan, the fall away, around and in. All right, two-point shot is good. He's a six-nothing Indians. Pushing it up. Underneath, taken away. Abaz ahead of the pack. Nice drive, just missed. Boucher tried to follow up, but couldn't. Right back, Sainville. Lost it, scramble, out of bounds. Bartlett ball. Bartlett ball. Good hustle on defense by Bartlett. And first sub in the game, this is May. Vision May, number two. Logan. Taking away. Ten. Let's see. I, I took his. Underneath, Sainville lays it up and in. Oh, check that. That was May yep. off the bench. Six to two. Five minutes left to go for his quarter. Boosh for three. Bang! Way to go, Boosh. Nice and start here by the Indians. No. Uh, I need a 10. Yeah. Okay. Bussy. Burke. Taken away. Boucher. Aba lays it up and in. Pushing it up. They're pushing it up fast. Not taking a break here. Defensive pressure and running and gunning. Now it's taken away again. Grand Mason. Logan on the fly. Taven from the corner. Around and out. Right back. Hey, oh, there's a little no travel good. there. Bush. There's a Euro oh. step. Boucher kept it alive. Quickly, Aba in the corner. Open jump shot. Bang! Oh, Logan for three. Toronto for three. Time out. The Dutch take. First time out. The Indians come out of the gate and they're flying. Take the lead 14 to 2 here in the first period. Nice start by the Indians. Well, if we thought there was going to be a shooting hangover from the clock, they put that theory to bed in a hurry. Yeah, they sure did. And when they're shooting, they're playing tough defense as well. They're creating a lot of turnovers. There's a quick timeout by the coach over there. But this is our gym, and we play it well. There's a lot of confidence here. But the boys seem ready to play tonight. Now, in case anybody's wondering what a griffin is, Ed, yeah. a griffin is a legendary creature with the body, tail, and back legs of a lion, the head and wings of an eagle. Okay. How's I hope, that? I hope that doesn't show up at halftime. 
As long as they don't let it loose in the gym. Mitch Toner in for the Indians, number 33. Bussy a long three, Bussie no good. Bussy a long good. three. Christensen, Christensen underneath. Bussy again, no good. Rebound Indians. I tell you, Toner does a nice job of boxing out. Abar, head of the pack. It's going to be an offensive foul. First foul of the game is against the Indians. 3.42 left to go. Here in the first quarter. Again, that full court trap pressure. They get it up to Lazo, Bussy, Christensen, got it. Drive on the baseline, they get the ball down low to the big guy. Logan, they leave him open. Yeah, boy. Oh, boy, that's a shake. Ill advised. Yep. Right underneath. Oh, nice block. What a stuff by Bush. Abar. Abar on the drive. Oh, way to go, Bush on the block on a fast break pass. Abar leading it up. Taven creating this havoc down there. Lazu from downtown. And Boucher gets the rebound. Bush is all over the floor. Ahead of the pack, Logan. Boucher. Oh, what a nice deep. pass. Pe still gets it back and lays it in. Mick Sona got it, missed the shot, got the rebound, flipped it over to Bush, and Bush was right there to lay it up. 21 to 4, 226 left underneath. That's Burke. Yep. Indians pull it out. Logan the three. He feels it. He feels it. He's on fire. He's on fire. That's his third. Here all this back. 24 to 6. Indians up. Burke baseline. Got it. Under two minutes to go. Abar pushing it down court. Lays it in. They can't keep up with Wilson tonight. Pedal to the metal. Wilson is flying down that court. Pressure underneath Burke all alone. 26 to 10. The three from Boucher is no good. Wazu to the hoop. Off the glass and he scores. Yep. And we got a timeout here. Timeout Bartlett, 127. Left to go here in the first period. Bartlett, 26. And Greater Lowell, 12. Indians didn't get back quite well on a couple of breaks. And uh, the Griffins took advantage of it on their fast break. Number five, Jose Lazo came in with some nice timely layups. Put them back up there to double figures. 26 to 12. A couple minutes left to go here in the first period. We're going to get back on defense. That's the key. But they're looking good so far. Looking good. Indians with four threes here in the first half. Logan's got three of them. He's, and he's also got a field goal. He's got 11. Abar's got four field goals all off the break. Boucher hit a three. And an offensive rebound for two. Monarch opened the scoring, I believe, or was close to it. He yeah. got a bucket. So the Indians with four in the scoring column already. Eighth Ethan Monarch's in the game. Runs the baseline, around the horn it goes. Coach would like to see that freshman going. Grant Mason, the reverse layup is on nice, there. Nice, couldn't go over the big guy, so he went around him with a scoop hook, hook shot. Grant Mason now on the board. Bussy, double team. Put it up to Sainville. Around it goes. That's a double dribble. Should have been. That's a double dribble. And the rebound is. What was that? Foul. Foul's going to be called on Colin and Eric. His first, the second on the Indians. And May is at the line getting two. We'll get one more. 56.6 seconds left to go. 
first period. One out of two. 28-13. But Eric and the Grand Mason baseline in and out. Rebound May. Pushing it up. Right to the hole. And it's out of bounds off May. Yep. Good defense by the Indians. Getting back. 38 seconds to go in a quarter. Boucher busting it up there. Cross call pass. Manaric. Out of the pack. Lazo. He's trying to go coast to coast. And he draws the foul. Gonna be on Peranto. Oh, check that. I think they called it, it on Colin. Okay. I don't know. Looked like he pointed to Logan. Lazo misses the first. He'll get one more. 22 seconds left to go. One out of two. 28-14. Indians will hold it for one. 15. 10. 5. Logan lets it fly. Yes! Oh, wow! Right at the four second mark. Excellent first period by the Indians. Well, the Indians came out smoking. And at the end of the first, it's Bartlett 31 and the Greater Lowell Griffins 14. Makes a difference in the whole complexion of the game when your shots are falling. Shots are falling because you're hustling down on offense. You're playing a good trapping zone, creating turnovers. Wilson Aba is always breaking to the, to the hole. He one of the fastest kids in Central Mass. People underestimate his speed. They, when they do that, they get beat. And Logan Peranto had shooting woes years ago. Feels like years ago. Where he's really heating it up here tonight. Excellent first half, first quarter, and Bush as well. Indians with a 17-point lead here as we begin the second quarter. Ball possession goes to the Griffins or the Indians. Indians. Indians ball, okay. Well, as we know, Ed, this will be the final home game for quite a few of these guys out here. And uh, yep. they are going out in a flourish. They have really come out here tonight, put the pedal to the metal. Grand Mason spinning. Rebound Lazo. Joey Anderson there. And Grand Mason takes it away, dishes it off. Hey, oh, what selfish. Set up by Joey Anderson. Grand Mason flips it over. Had to start that, Anderson. Right back. Hey, gets it back. May for three. Rebounds bounced around. Lazo's open and hits it. Yep. Jose Lazo with five points. Right back. Logan. Oh, he's he's got the hot hand. He's got the hand. He is feeling it tonight. Offensive foul on Burke. Joey is in excellent position. Excellent position. That is the first foul on the Griffins. Coming down on a seven minute mark here of the first half. The Indians are up by 20. Logan, open. In and out, and bang in. again. Burke is going to go out of Zaneville. Oh, what a play. Anderson. Pounded it off. The greater Lowell player. And the Indians take it out of bounds and push it right up. Number five goes back to it. 
Brad Mason, Anderson skies, throws it back up. Logan Batlin under there for the rebound. Grand Passes Mason. to Grand Mason. It's blocked. Wall's got the numbers. Let's see. Oh, the putback by Burke. Yep. Logan right back around and out. Burke the rebound. Bussey. Saneville. Rebound. Boucher ahead of the pack. Aba. Oh, that's a foul. No, that's a foul. He went right Ray into him in the air. No call. Bussey. <coughs> Griffins want to run now, and they're going to pick up a foul, and that's going to be on Logan. Logan's first. Team fourth. Yep. So they did correct that other foul, which was on Manaric as we thought it was. Baseline, Lazo no good. Boucher, he's got a ton of rebounds here. Logan, little strong. Lazo misses, gets it back. Sainville open, in and out. Manaric, Boucher, the Indians pull it up. Coach Perano calls the play. Oh, nice pass. Way to go. Way to look. Now to go, Bush. Way to finish, Joey. The look away pass. Lazo through the paint. Throws it up. Gets it back. And Perano gets it up. Aba pulls up for the three. Follows it up. Gets look it to Eric. Eric. Look at this. Wilson on a follow finish by Colin. And now Manaric takes it away, but the Griffins get it back. And a travel. Xander. 42 to 18. Bartlett. 452 left to go here in a half. Taven in. Boucher calling in. Makes a couple of moves. You're not to the hoop. The left-handed scoop. Dylan, the rebound, no good. Again. And it's gonna be Griffin ball. Okay, good try. Good try. Oh. Taking away Grand Mason. Right to the hoop. And they don't call it. He got hit. Boy. Christensen. Taken away. Taven. Taven's all over it. And it's going to be off him out of bounds. 25 is uh, Wesley Burke. He's in the game right now. <coughs> Bussy to put the ball in play. May. May driving. Lays it in. Yep. Head of the pack. Taven alone for the three. Rebound Aba. Tries to get it underneath. Nobody there. No good. Uh, thought Collin was going to be there. Yeah. 358 nope. left to go in the half. They didn't connect. Deflected up the Bussy. Indians get back. Lazo driving. Count it. Are you kidding? Jose Lazo. He's got nine here tonight. Second oh. one on Logan. They're going to call that they, on a shooting they foul. They got it marked on Boucher. Is it Logan? Can't be Boucher. He's not even in the game. No. So it's Logan, right? Yeah. Point I was trying to make, they call out a shoot on a shooting foul. We had two fouls down there. Active shooting, we didn't get the call. So let's be consistent out there. Now 
Brad Arick gets it back, fires it up. Oh, come on. Rebound Burke. Ahead to Lazo. Burke, Christensen, May. Bussy looking for a lane underneath. He finds May. 42-25 Indians. And with that, a timeout. Timeout Indians, 3-14 left to go in the first half. Bartlett 42, Greater Lowell 25. Lowell making a run here, a couple of fast break points. Lowell for throw, last three shots we didn't make. Ethan going in, see if he can shake it up a little bit. But we still got the shots, we're still running a fast break. Cooled off just a little bit in the shooting. Coach Pronto calls a timeout. Wants to get everything straightened out here. Got about three minutes left to go in here in the first half. 17 point lead right for the Indians. But you know the team is going to make your runs. You know they're good enough to make these yep. runs. So you call a timeout, get your defensive set up, get your team a little bit rested, get out there, get them going. Indians will put the ball in play. They got Boucher, Anderson, Manaric, Ethan Manaric, Grand Mason, and Aba. This Logan's going to take a breather. Boucher pulls up. Grand nice Mason Glass. again. Glass. Yes. Way to go. Boy, that was a great second effort by Dylan. Under three minutes to go and a half. Bussy. Ooh, deflected. Grand Mason on the floor. What else? Burke ends up with it. Underneath it goes to Christian. Boucher. Grand Mason for three. Rattles the rim. He's got a good shot, but he's not making it. May. He has nine. A by right back. 44 29. Nice pass underneath to Anderson. Anderson from Grand Mason. What a pass and what a finish. I don't believe we're not getting those calls under there. There's contact every time we take a layup Busting underneath. For three, it's long. Ethan the rebound. Outlet Boucher, under two minutes to go here for his half. Boucher, Joey Anderson, yes, Joey Anderson off the bench. Is that Havlicek? <laughs> Havlicek off the bench. <laughs> and now deflected again. They get it back, Lazu in the paint. Passes to Bussy for two. Yeah, they had the numbers that time. Well, I'll tell you, this is up, up and down the court. 130 left to go and a half. 48 31. Bartlett. Hey, that's hand check. Hand check, hand Jay. check. No hand Cut checks. 10 on the clock. And now they take it away. Christian. Lazo. Rebound. Went out of bounds. It's going to be Griffin Ball. Colin and Eric, Logan Peronto check back in. Saneville in for the Griffins. May to put it in play. Blow puts it in bounce. This is Burke. May calls a play. 15 on a shot clock. We're under a minute to go and a half. Saneville. Five seconds left. May misses. Boucher keeps it alive. Gets it to Logan. Pushing it up. Boucher for the three. Right underneath again. Grand Mason draws the foul. 
He is working hard off the glass, hot off the glass on the offensive side. When you got a kid rebounding like that on your team, you're going to get second chance opportunities. He did that time. Dylan on the line for two. Nice shot, nice shot. First free throw of the game for the Indians. 36.8 seconds left. Logan's going to take a seat now with his two fouls. That's nice shooting on the line, Dylan. That was a count. 50 to 30. Very important. Boy, there are a lot of things wrong with that, but the Indians ended up with it. All right, going to get Logan back in for the last shot. If yeah. It's open. 28 seconds. They're going to save it for one, probably. Coach Pirano calls the play. Lowell Tech's going to come out now and attack. 18 seconds left. Boucher driving. Anderson, Logan, little head fake. Now he puts it up. In and out. Four seconds left. Trying to take it away. Anderson. Paranto. Oh, what And what that ends the first half. But a terrific first half of play here by the Indians. As they head into the locker room, it's Bartlett 50 and Greater Lowell 31. Outstanding first half by the Indians. They're playing Bartlett High School basketball. Running the court, beating everybody down the court, trapping well on his own, and getting glass. Dylan Grand Mason getting glass over there, did a terrific job. And uh, we, we got an excellent score here at halftime, 50 to 31. Excellent for us half by the Indians. Okay, let's take a look at the individual scoring. In the first half, first for the uh, Greater Lowell Tech Griffins. Number 50, Christensen, a couple of field goals. He's got four. Number four, Tyler Bussey, a field goal for two. Number five, Jose Lazu, three field goals, two for three from the free throw line. He's got eight. Number 13, Jacob Burke, four field goals. He's got eight. And the leading scorer is number two, came off the bench, May, with four field goals, one for two from the free throw line. He had nine and a total of 31. For the Indians, Joey Anderson, a couple of field goals. He's got four. Colin Manaric, a couple of field goals. He's got four. Brandon Boucher, a field goal and a three-pointer. He's got five. Dylan Graham Mason, three field goals. Two for two from the free throw line. He's got eight. Wilson Aba, five field goals. He's got ten. And the leading scorer, Logan Peranto, with five three-pointers. Two field goals. He's got 19 and a total of 50 in the first half. For the Indians, Ed, we mentioned no hangover. If anything, the Indians looked like they had a little edge to them coming in here after getting beaten the clock their previous game, and they took it out on Greater Lowell there, particularly in the first quarter. No question about it. They came in here with a lot of energy and a lot of determination. And uh, with a chip on his shoulder, they didn't like the way the last game went, especially number 12. And uh, he showed that he can still shoot it up really good. And uh, I'll tell you, at halftime, what do you tell the Indians if you coach Toronto? You just tell them, keep doing what you've been doing and keep it going. Keep fast breaking, right. keep up that zone pressure, keep that pace up and down the court. Take the shots when it's open and play basketball from there. I expect this team from Lowell to come back to close it. Third period, Howard Open's going to be, they'll make a couple of runs here. We got to sustain that. Got to sustain that uh, desire and ability to get the job done. 
But the way Bush is playing, the way Manarik is playing, the way Joey Anson's coming off the bench playing Dylan Grand Mason, Wilson Aba. I mean, t I want to tell you something. They've had a terrific half. It was a real great effort out there. But that's what you got to do against the good teams. You got to do against, against the good teams. Okay, a minute left, and Greater Lowell has not made their way out. They just are now. Give our sponsors another plug here for helping support Bartlett High basketball tonight, including Bank Hometown, Pete's Tire and Oil, the Patterson and Starzik families, the Webster Fice and Savings Bank, the Webster Fish and Game, the Mopre Insurance Company, Nipmuc Liquors, the Polish American Veterans Club, Place Motors, and Park and Shop Supermarkets. Thanks again for supporting Bartlett High Basketball and the Bartlett Athletic Program with your contributions. All right. Third period action about to get underway. Indians up by 19. They'll start Brandon Boucher, Logan Paranto, Dylan Graham Mason, Joey Anderson will be out here to start the okay. second half, and Will Abar. For the Griffins, it's Laser who's going to put the who's going to put it in play here with Bussy, Burke, Saneville, Christensen. We're going to clear out that TOLs. Oh, timeout left. Bussy. Around the horn it goes. Sainville. Wants to go on Logan. Is picked up. Misses. Rebound. Gets it back. Burke. Fumbled it over to Bussy, who scores. Yep. Carano, deep. Yes. Yeah, boy, Logan. Way to go. Just keep firing. You'll want to see that first one go in. The seniors' last game on this court. Out of bounds, Bartlett ball. Good pressure by Wilson over there. Good pressure. Boucher. Toronto, they come out to get him. Oh, now. nice look down low. Anderson Joey spins, can hit that kid. Squeezes it up, <laughs> gets it back, gives it to Dylan, to Logan. Yes. And a boy, Logan. What effort underneath by Joey and Dylan Grand Mason. Little five foot jumper by Logan finishes it off. Lazo kickball. Yep. They reset the 30 clock. 6.36 left to go third period. 55-33, Bartlett. Lazo lets it fly. Anderson, a rebound. Push, pushing it up. Aba pulled up for the three. Logan kept it alive, and it's yep. out of bounds. Bartlett okay. ball. Yep. Setting up out of bounds. Indians need some help. Deflected. Remains Bartlett ball. Somebody's got to set up a pick out there. Set up the picket fence. There you go. There you go. All right. Grand Mason in the high post. Toronto pulls it out. In the corner, Aba. Wow. Wilson wanted a three. He got it. He's got 13 tonight. 58-33, Bartlett. Six minutes left. And that's an offensive foul. Joey Anderson taking hits for the team. He's going for the Tommy Award tonight. <laughs> foul was on five. Lazu, his first. First on the team here in the second half. <laughs> Bartlett 
Push. Maybach leaves it for Logan. Gets it back and lets it fly. A little bit off, a little bit off that time. Okay. Lazo. Tied up. It's Christensen. Jump ball. Possession Alan arrow Lowe. goes to Greater Low. Greater Low. Oh, wait a minute. They're calling a foul. What? They're calling a foul on Aba. Come on. Lucy. Left it for Christensen. He didn't look. Got it back. Stripped by Graham Mason. And then foul. Okay, good hustle. Was Boucher. Boucher. Who, who was the last foul on, Ted? Aba. Aba? As the second? Yeah. Fouls on Christensen. That's his second. Logan. With Burke on him. Leaves it for Dylan. Deflected pass. Aba. Yes! Wilson Aba. Three. Bagger. 60, 133. Now Dylan strips it. Logan, head up. Boucher for the three. Rebound oh, Burke. Sainville hits the three. And a timeout, Greater Lowell. 449 left to go in the third period. Bartlett 61 and Greater Lowell 36. Come out in the third period. Logan started the third period off with a three-bagger, and the shooting is right back where it was early in the first period. And uh, Wilson Abar, terrific playing out there. Bush, Joey Anderson's all over the court. Gonna give him a mop, just put it on his chest. He's cleaning up the floor out there. He's doing a great job. But the Indians keeping the pace going, keeping that pace going. Galore has a tough time. Handling the ball against the Indians. It's, that's obvious. That defense has really got them troubled. And they're turning the ball over. When they start trapping, they panic a little bit. They start throwing the ball away. All right, yeah. it'll be Bartlett ball. Yeah. And they put the ball in play here. Indians leading by 25 points. Boucher, Colin Manarek into the game now. Underneath Colin. Hey, Bob, baseline leaves it for Dylan. Wow, what a drive on a baseline and a pass. And Dylan is ready. He's got the hands back. May. Out of bounds off Bartlett. This is Lazo. Burke. Bussy. Trying to run their offense. The Indians are just all over it. Logan's going to pull up. Grand Mason to Aba. Bush. And a foul is going to be on Manarik. Thank you, Katie. It's going to be calling second. Uh, second on the team. Each team with two fouls here in a half. Coming down to the four minute mark here, third period. This is May. Trying to get it to Burke. They're going to call it on Boucher. Believe that's his first. Third on the team. He took a whack at it, but I guess he got more arm than ball. Lays a long three. Rebound underneath, scramble off. Great a lull. Will be Bartlett ball. 348 left to go here in the third. 
Panaric, Graham Mason. Score it, and he's going to the line. Foul is on number 40, Dylan Grand Mason. Foul on Sainville, his first, the third on the Griffins. Grand Mason can't complete it. Scramble. Bussy. May scores. His first bucket of the second half. He's got 11. But Eric open for the three. Little strong. Lazo leaves it for May. Misses Logan. Good battle, Logan. Good it. battle. Playing both ends of the court. Ava. Set it up, set it up. Graham Mason for three. Short. Not hitting that three. You got to give it up. Eric, they got two on one here, and Bussy lays it in. Yeah, when he's taking that deep shot, nobody's got back. You don't have the guards back because you got them up front. 65-40, Bartlett, 241 left here, third. Graham Mason from Boucher, again, it's gonna be a jump ball. It'll be Bartlett ball on the possession. Tona and Anderson in for Abar and Graham Mason. Well, 54 into the game. Big guy. He's a big one, Joe. Ortiz. Ortiz. Oh, they had him. Low, uh, Colin, the turnaround. Boy, Colin, he can't make the shots. Just not making the shots. Bussy open for the three, and he nails it. Right back. But Axe going to keep taking him. you got to keep taking him. Rebound, Bussy. Ahead of the pack. May, no good. Rebound, Indians. Outlet and a foul. No, a timeout, Bartlett. 2 2 Left to go here in the third. Bartlett, 65. Greater Lowell, 43. Lowell's making a run here. Down by uh, 22. But it's a run. Now you can see it when they get that fast break going. We start missing, missing shots on the other end. Can't let them back in this game. I think the coach will stick with his uh, lineup. Get Bush in there, get the shooters in there. Grand Mason doing a nice job on a glass. He's got to keep going, but they can run. They can run. That uh, Busi, he runs well. Yeah. And Lazo, he runs well. I hope he does that. <laughs> 54 is a large person. Indians will be putting the ball in play with 2.02 left to go here in the third. They lead it 65. To 43. Toronto. And he loses it. And Bussy loses it out of bounds. Hot little get it back with a minute 52 left here. And there's a bump and a foul. Yep. That'll be on 25. That's Wesley Burke. And his first foul. Boucher doubled. And oh, Burke steals oh. it. Jacob Burke. Can't throw those cross passes. You're getting lazy here. Logan underneath Anderson, but he lost it out of bounds. Yeah. 
130 left to go in the third. Graham Mason and Aba check back in. Yeah, we got uh, yep. Wilson here. Yep. Along with Anderson, Paranto, and Graham Mason. So Lowell trying to cut it. It's 20 point lead right now. This is May. Throws it up. Rebound again. He dribbles it back out. And then he misses. Boucher. Head up. Aba stops. No good. Rebound Ortiz. Bussy flying down the court. Score it and a foul. <coughs> He's got speed. And he's beating him down the court. Yep. <laughs> Foul is on Boucher, his second. <laughs> Tyler Bussey at the line. Shooting one. 65 48. Graham Mason, Logan. Not in there, get it out of there. Get it out of there. Bussy on the fly, strip, gets it back. This is May, knocked out of bounds by Pirano with 26.6 seconds left. This is Burke and Burke. They're both juniors. And it's Loses out of bounds. All right, make the good last shot here. 21 and a half seconds left. Logan. Nine seconds. Boucher and a whistle and a foul. Going to be on Ortiz, I believe. The big guy. His first. The fourth on, I checked that, the fifth on the Griffins. Boucher's going to get a couple. Six point two seconds left in the third. Nice shot. Right. Two good shots. You need him. Five seconds left. This is May. Deflected. Underneath. Laid Jesus. up and in by Christensen half the buzzer. And that ends the third period of play. The score at the end of three is Greater Lowell. Uh, Bartlett 67 and Greater Lowell 50. Had a 19 point lead at halftime. Now we've got it down to uh, 17. Indians still playing good, but the shots just aren't falling. A greater lull, as you can show you. They can run the court, and they can make the baskets. So you can't take them lightly. you got to make sure you pass it. We had about five turnovers where we didn't get a good shot coming down the field, throwing the passes across. They're coming out to press us. we got to keep moving the basketball. No long passes, shot passes. Move it around the perimeter. Go for the open shot. But coach got upset a little bit that time during that series. Have two guys not getting back on defense. They're beating us. Their third period offense was beating our defense down the court. Got to straighten that out. Yep. Since the end of the first quarter, it's been an even game. Indians led by 17 after one. And the lead is 17 here after three. Yep. It's going to be great a lower ball to start the fourth period. Eight minutes to go. Go 
May wants to go. And he scores. It's down to 15. Cross court pass, Boucher for three, in and out. Rebound, off Bartlett out of bounds. Hitting that slump, hitting that shooting slump now. Can't get tight, you gotta keep firing. Get on defense, get on defense. This is Burke underneath this drive into the hoop, but he misses, rebound Dillon. Off to Pirano, ahead to Anderson, out to Boucher. Logan, double team to Grand Mason, Boucher. Eight on a shot clock. Logan, no call. Bussy deflected. Grand Mason on the floor. And they're going to call a foul. Tough foul. Both boys battling over there. Foul on Grand Mason. His first. Each team now at five fouls. 6.47 left. <laughs> when Mason deflects it, Burke gets it back. Uh, and all alone, Christensen. We pressured the outside and left somebody open underneath. Anderson loses it out of bounds. When Arab's going to check in for Anderson. 67 54, 622 left. And they need Burke. Almost knocked out of bounds. When it starts going the other way, it goes away quick. Gotta keep battling under there. They don't shoot it too well from the outside, so you gotta work underneath. Christensen off the glass. In two Indians battling. Way down court. Manarix alone lays it in. All right, okay. 69-54. Under Colin got down go. there real good. Burke for a long three, no good. Manaric and he's fouled. Foul by 50, it's Christensen. It's his third. Now he's getting down there, Colin. Good work. Hey, a foul pushed. I might see him too much or not enough. In and out, in and out, in and out. Logan pulls up. Can't hit. Gets it back. Yeah. Good boy. Good follow. That was huge. 71 54. 518 left in the game. That was huge follow up by Logan. Deep three. Yes. Plus he got it. And a timeout time low. Timeout with 510 left to go in the game, and it's Bartlett, 71, and Greater Lowell, 57. With the three-point shot, anything's good, and if game isn't over till it's over, you gotta keep battling. Good follow-up follow shot by Logan that time. We had two field goals in the last minute or so. The other one by Colin and Eric, but that team's had still had a couple of turnovers. But Bussy shooting that three, call a timeout. They're going to keep going with that three. There's a lot of lot of time left for this team. We got to still play heads up basketball. Make sure your passes don't anticipate too much and get back on defense. Make them work for everything. Indians will have it. 
when they put the ball in play. 5-10 left to go here in the fourth period. The Bartlett lead is 14. Great Alol now with six fouls. So the Indians will go to the line here with any subsequent foul by the Griffins. Toronto and Manaric. Boucher. Oh, way over to Dillon, to Boucher. Manaric looks underneath, back out to Boucher, 12 on a shot clock. Logan open on the baseline, around and in. Way to get it in, Logan, it counts, boy. It counts. 73-57, 438. I love the way the Indians worked it around that last series down here offensively. Made about five passes. That's what you got to do to eat the clock up. Christensen hits. Yeah, that's a deuce. 73-59. Oh, nice head fake. Good move. Okay. Boucher finds a lane and lays it in. Don't give him a pass. He'll eat you right up. Don't give him a pass. Burke for three. Rebound up there by Boucher. I had to Abar to Boucher. Docked to the floor. No call. And Abar was out of bounds. Three forty-six left. Indian lead is sixteen. Bussy throws it up and in. Yep. He's got a ton here in the second half. Yes, He's only he only had two in the first half. Back to Logan. In and out. Abar open for the three. Yes. yes! Wilson Aba, big three. First one for him in the second half, but it was huge. Loosens things up a little. It was huge. 78-61, 3.08 left to go. And Aba takes it away. Bussy trying to catch him, but it's too late. Wilson Aba, nice deuce. Way to go. Under three minutes to go. Christensen. That's way off. Rebound Logan. Indians feeling it now. Rand Mason. Boucher for the three. In and out. Logan battling. Takes it away and lays it in. Logan Toronto. Always there. Offensive rebound and he kisses one off the glass. Indians with a little explosion here. 82 to 61, two and a quarter left to go in the game. Boy, what, they, what couldn't they? <laughs> That's great timing. They really opened it up here with the last two minutes. Colin Manaric. Even Colin. They're all falling. They're all falling by the Indians. Way to go, Indians. Timeout, great a little 210 left to go here in the basketball game. Bartlett 85 and great a little 61. I'll tell you. Officials will oversee after 46. Please remain off the court until completion of the handshake. Thank you. I'll tell you, I don't think it's too early to say this, but I'll tell you, with some seniors out there, we're going to miss them. Wilson Aba, Brandon Boucher. Joey Anderson, Logan Peranto. And that's about it. That's it. And Taven Pantavong. Yeah. Sean Stockhouse. Yep. Logan Peranto, Wilson Aba, Joey Anderson. I'll tell you, you talked about series and pulling this thing out. It was it was getting tight. You could feel it. It was getting tight. But we got two baskets. Really, that broke it open. Two minutes left to go. The Indians with a 24-point lead. This is Bussy. Leaves it for Burke. Oh, 
almost threw it away, and he does. Boucher, head of the pack, trying to catch him, but it's yep. too late. Yep. Nice pass, nice pass. Right back, Fussy, and a blocking foul is going to be called on Anderson. His first, first foul on Joey. Jeez. Wow. Sixth on the team. Each team now with six fouls. A minute 43 left. Bussy will get one more. Good job, Colin. Good job. Way to yep. go. He played a good fourth period. Keep forgetting he's only a sophomore, right? Yep. Good, good experience ahead. One out of two to put back is missed. A rebound. Sean Stockhouse. Way to go. Way to go, Sean. Boucher, a left-hander around and out. 129 left to go. This is Sainville. He hasn't been in the game in a while. No. Burke from downtown and nails it. That's Wesley Burke, the other brother. 113 left. Anderson will take it. Off, Off the, the glass. glass. How about that? Huh? Off the glass. Sam Jones style. That was like a Bill Bergstrom chip in. <laughs> Under a minute to go in the game. Off the glass. Sainville put back good. And timeout. Why? Get these boys Off in. The court. Get these boys in. <laughs> 51 seconds to go. Team two is out there now. You got Dex is out there. Martinez is out there. Taven. Taven. Nice, nice rebound. rebound by Tex. Sean Starkov. Yes! He's got a shot. I'll tell you, he got a shot. 28 seconds left. Bussy drew the foul. Boy, I'll tell you what, we got 93 points against this team tonight. What an offensive show. And a defensive show as well. They played both ends of the court. They outran them and they outshot them. Bussy will get one more. Make some both, <laughs> and then he's going to have a seat. He had a good game. Yeah. Three, six, 12, 16 points in the second half for Bussy. 18 for the game. Taven. Indians will hold it with 15 seconds left. Seven seconds left. The Indians are gonna go on. They will advance. To the semifinals of the Central Mass Division III State Championship. The final score was Bartlett 93. And a great of all, 69. Outstanding good. effort here tonight. That's one of the best games they've played all year, and I think this was one of the toughest teams they've played, but you wouldn't tell by the score. They just played their hearts out. They left it all on the court. They shot well. They defended well. They passed well. Very unselfish play out there by, by the Indians. And we shot it extremely well. Logan Peranto, a fantastic evening. Wilson Aba as well. We got Dylan Grand Mason did an excellent job. Brandon Bush, always a good game. I'll tell you, this was, I, this was a terrific, terrific game by the Indians. Hey, it was a W, like yeah, we said. Exactly. They have a lot of students in school, but he only can dress five. 
Individual scoring here, as we mentioned, for uh, for the Griffins. Christensen had 10, and Jacob Burke had 10. Vision May, number two, had 13. And Tyler Bussey, two in the first half, and 18 in the second half. He ended up with 20. For the Indians, <coughs> Sean Stockhouse, a three-pointer for three. Joey Anderson, four in the first half, three in the second. He had seven. Colin Manarek, four in the first half, five in the second half. He had nine. Brandon Boucher, five in the first half, six in the second half. He had 11. Dylan Grand Mason, eight in the first half, four in the second half. He had 12. Wilson Abar, 10 in the first half, 11 in the second half. He ended up with 21. And the leading scorer tonight, Logan Peranto with 19 in the first half, 13, I check that, 11 in the second half. He had 30 in his final home game of his career. And I don't know anybody who's made more baskets in this gym practice and game than Logan Peranto, who's been shooting here since he was probably six years old. Yeah, what a good way to go out. Great way to go out. Great team victory tonight. And we're going to be the first one to tell you. But I'll tell you, he had 19 in the first half, and he started off the game. He had five three-pointers, I believe, in the first period. But everybody fed off him tonight. Everybody did, and he set the tone. And Bush was outstanding, as he always is. Not many points, 11. But what he does offensively, he gets boards. He runs the break. Wilson Abar had a very, very good night. He got 21. Colin and Eric had a nice fourth period. Their defense was outstanding. Joey Anderson had seven points. But, man, he was mopping the floor with his body. He gets the Tommy Award tonight. And i got to tell you something. In Gr Dylan Grant Mason, I mentioned him, did a terrific job on the offensive glass. Just kept it alive under there. Big victory against a big team. Indians go on. And it's a great way for the seniors to leave the Bartlett High School gym. We owe them a lot. They gave us some great pleasures, and tonight was no exception. Way to go. Congratulations to Coach Peranto and his team. And bon voyage to the seniors from the Bartlett High School gym. But we still got basketball left. Way to go. Thank our sponsors one more time. Park and Shop Supermarket, Place Motors on Thompson Road, the Polish American Veterans Club on Ray Street, Nipmuc Liquors on Thompson Road, the Moffrey Insurance Company, the Webster Fish and Game on Gore Road, the Patterson and Starzik families, right Peaks Tire and Oil on South Main Street, the Webster Feist and Savings Bank, and Bank Hometown. That wraps it up. Once again, the final score, Bartlett 93, Greater Lowell 69. The Indians move on to the semifinals of the District 3 Central Mass Championship. For Nico on the camera and for Ed Logan, Logan. this is Ted Apples. Hope you enjoyed Bartlett High Basketball. So long, everybody.